It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents and the sailors, well, they fought for their lives against a ferocious sea. And one said to the others, tell us a tale. And the tale ran thus. In the spring of 1806, James Gosling, the oldest son of William Gosling, wine and spirits merchant, set out from Gravesend, Kent, England, on the ship Mercury bound for America. After 91 days on the sea, the charter expired and the ship put in at the nearest port, St. George's, Bermuda. By 1860, the Goslings created their branded dark rum, Black Seal, yeah. They didn't call it Black Seal at first, in fact, up until the First World War, it was sold from a barrel. People just brought in their old bottles for a fill-up. A fill-up of old rum. Eventually, though, the black rum was sold in champagne bottles, reclaimed from the British officer's mess. And the corks were sealed with black sealing wax. Pretty soon, people began to ask for black seal. Or <laughs> maybe the name black seal came about because of the Bermudian seal they kept as a pet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just made that last thing up. So the story goes, sometime after World War I, the dark and stormy was born. It has its origins in a ginger beer factory that was run by the Royal Naval Officers Club. Well, the sailors soon discovered that a hefty splash of the local Gosling's Black Seal rum was a great addition to the ginger beer. As for the name, The Dark and Stormy, it was coined by a sailor who, while enjoying the cocktail, commented that it was the color of a cloud only a fool or a dead man would sail under. Now you can't patent a drink recipe, I know because I've tried, but you can trademark a name. And that's what Gosling's did with The Dark and Stormy. Kind of like what Pusser's did with their painkiller cocktail. So if you make a Dark and Stormy, with anything other than Gosling's dark rum, you're breaking the law. Ooh, the drink police will be banging at your door. <laughs> oh, quick, honey, <laughs> they're here. Dump the rum, man, dump the rum. I can't, it won't flush. <laughs> anyway, just to drive home the point of legal protections of a trademark, Gosling's has a canned version of the dark and stormy, basically saying, this is so ours, we put it in a can. <laughs> Even their website says it's the genuine article, an authentic dark and stormy cocktail, so there's zero compromise in taste. I guess there's serious financial incentive to holding on to ownership considering the dark and stormy is hailed as Bermuda's national drink. That being said, well, let's get dark here. Yeah. And make a dark and stormy. <laughs> Okay. In a highball glass, just add some ice. Yeah, fill her up. First up is ginger beer. Now, I like to use premium ginger beer. I like this because it, uh, it's all natural. There's no crap in it. Where you look at something like this, uh, this ginger beer, it's got potassium sorbate. It's got, ooh, artificial flavor. Hmm, it's got uh, sodium benzoate. Why would you use that? Use the real thing if you can find it. Yeah, okay. Let's open it up and just pour about three to four ounces. Yeah, something like that, okay. Now it's time for our goslings, yeah. Gosling's Black Seal Bermuda Rum uses the finest distillants aged in once-used charred American oak bourbon casks. At 40% alcohol by volume, or 80 proof, Gosling's Black Seal Rum is smooth, full-flavored with sweet, spicy molasses aromas and hints of fruit, vanilla, and smoke. At the finish, there's a softness, well-balanced, and a distinctive smoothness. All right, we want two ounces, and we're just gonna float it on top. Beauty, nice. Now, for some fresh lime. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> I like to uh, just grab a few little wedges here and just squeeze it over top. Yeah, squeeze it over top. I mean, hell, you can just put it right in the drink itself too, yeah. Little straw, and we're in for the dark and stormy. Let's give this thing a go. Oh, wow, that's really refreshing. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna make a dark and stormy, make it with premium ginger beer. Even uh, Gosling's have their own ginger beer that they sell too. Wow, it's got just enough spice, a little hit from the ginger beer, and uh, the rum just tones it out. The, the, uh, the lime actually balances out that ginger beer. Nice little nip in the throat. <laughs> Cheers, make it dark and stormy. Get all dark. <laughs> All right, we want two ounces. I'm on Patreon now. Yeah, for just a few dollars a month, you get access to things that nobody else sees. You get bloopers, you get uh, podcasts, newsletters, and sneak peeks. You get a whole whack of stuff that you're gonna love. So become one of my booze hounds and help support the show. This stuff gets expensive, and every little bit goes back into the show. Thanks in advance. New year, new me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, check out these other videos and uh, hit the subscribe button. Get real dark one night and just hit that button. Make it dark and stormy. Ah, that, you know, that, that is really refreshing. <laughs> do it, do it, do it now. <laughs> <laughs>